Welcome back to Nuts and Bolts Torqued. I'm currently trying to get a bit further into Ars Magica 2 so that I can make the stuff necessary to get into blood magic. So I can make the stuff necessary to get into blah blah blah, you know the whole deal. So, I think we're maybe halfway through Ars Magica. It's a little bit hard to tell, but the next thing I need to make is the Essence Refiner. So I'm trying to make my first spell. I was figuring that by making my first spell I'd probably get a, you know, a good hang on the, a good handle on the basics for Ars Magica and would be able to make whatever I need for Blood Magic. Well, I just took a look and the thing I was waiting for for Blood Magic is the Blood Altar. So we're going to need the Blood Altar and yeah, all of this is pretty easy except for the Life Essence, which comes from the Essence Refiner in Ars Magica 2. And it just so happens this thing I need here to complete the spell also needs to be made from the refiner. So that's what I need to make. Essence Refiner. Now I took a look at the book for Ars Magica and I know we're not going to be done just as soon as I finish the refiner. Because the refiner itself requires Ars Magica 2's form of power using an obelisk. Which I think is a multi-block structure. So we'll have to deal with that when the time comes, but for now let's just try to make the Essence Refiner. So, what do I have? What do I not have? I've only got the redstone glass. Oh, right. The psi metal was... Well, we'll get into that later. Opinium Core Mediocre. Requires blocks of iron and gold. Those are easy. And it requires two pathetic cores, which come from a red coal and a block of iron. Okay. Well, that's easy to make. So I'll make that. Block of iron. Bunch of that. Block of gold. What the? Huh? There's no normal block of gold? No, there is. Oh, it's because I said block faux gold. Not sure why these blocks of gold show up, though. Anyway, I think that should do it. So we need two of these. I just made this. Alright, so now we got that. Which wood planks? Easy. So now we got that. Deficit crystal. Oh, apparently I've got the stuff for that too. This is easier than I thought. Until we get to the side metal. Now what the heck do we need? Side dust, which comes from side gem, which oh, god. I think we need the molecular transformer. Oh no we do. And it costs fifty thousand EU to make one side gem. Okay, okay, that's fine. Some high end industrial craft two thing. That's right, we can do that. Alright, it's taken a bit of effort, but I finally made the Molecular Transformer. So we just need to put two mana diamonds in it, and it should make mana... Or not mana, it should make Psy... A Psy diamond or gem or something like that. And then we could turn that into powder in the crusher. And then smelt it into the Psy metal that we need to make the Ars Magica uh, thingy. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. <clears throat> anyway, let's hook this thing up. Now, it does run on a higher voltage, actually, than even high voltage. It's like... What is it? Maybe it is high voltage. It might be high voltage, but either way, this one should work even if it's a higher voltage, because, you know, if you plug something in and supply it with too much power, it explodes, but if you supply it with too little power, I think it just is a bit slow. So it should be fine. I hope. Please don't explode. Hooray, it didn't explode. It's um, it's empty on everything though. In output, that's not good. Ah, it doesn't take in power until you put something in it. This thing's probably draining. Not that fast actually. I mean, holds four million, so yeah, <laughs> there we go. Already done. Cool. 
English is about to break. But yeah, we should be able to turn that into dust. There we go. And I guess I'll just put them in here. Oh, they can't be put in normal ovens. Normal furnaces. I think they work in the arc furnace, though. Yeah. Pretty quick, too. Okay, and there's our side metal. I forgot if we needed anything else. That might have been it. Was it Essence Refiner? Yeah, Essence Refiner. Oh, that's everything. Look at that. Okay, so we have the Essence Refiner. Now, I'm not sure if this thing itself requires a multi-block structure. It may. And the thing that supplies it with power definitely requires a multi-block structure. So let's get those together. At first, the first thing I'm going to make though is the obelisk. Not the multi-block structure, the obelisk, which supplies power, but just the obelisk itself, which is like the crowning part of the obelisk multi-block structure, I believe. So it should be this, and it looked super easy to make. Oh, it has to specifically be chiseled stone bricks. This comes from stone brick slabs. That is very specific. Wait. There we go. Hopefully this one is fine. I don't know, I'll make a couple. They're cheap. So yeah, if we look at the book, it's a whole section in, I think, blocks. I don't know why this thing keeps turning dark and light. <laughs> Very odd. But here's the obelisk. It's a rune block that is used to generate ethereum. Oh, maybe it doesn't need to be a multi-block structure. Because, like, this thing is some sort of a multi-block structure, although the display of it seems to be broken. As you can see, this is all the layers, but that doesn't make any sense. And when I switch the layers, weird stuff happens like this. Like, I don't know what's going on. Things have disappeared. Stuff is turning black. If you look in the background, you see things appear and disappear as I swap through the layers. Something's funky. And as you can see, all layers doesn't include as many details as you see in the individual layers. So, something's weird. But perhaps... Perhaps that's only for, like, an upgraded version. Let's try it. So, it says that for fuel it uses... What was it? Uh, Ventium Dust? Yeah, it burns Ventium Dust or Liquid Ethereum. I think I have tons of Ventium. Oh. Actually, not as much as I thought. That's yeah, fine. Well, this thing's interface seems to look okay, so maybe it doesn't require a multi-block structure. Let's just place the obelisks around and see if it works. I don't know, it looks too easy, doesn't it? Oh, well, I'll be damned. So does this thing store power in any way? Doesn't look like it does. I've got mana regen on me because of that. Okay, so I guess you only want to supply it with power when you're actually trying to do something. So we want to make the earth essence, right? To finish the spell. Dirt, stone, stone, obsidian. Oh, and in the center, arcane ash. Let me go get that together. Got everything together. So arcane ash in the center, and I think it was stone on the sides. Oh, I forgot the obsidian. Okay, obsidian on the bottom. Yep, so that changed color, so I'm assuming that means, hey, I need power. What are these slots for, though? Is there something that needs to go there? Yeah, it doesn't show anything. Maybe they're just, like, enhancements or something. Alright, so let's see if we can give it some power or something. Hmm... Possibly needs more power, but more likely I'm probably missing something. Or maybe I need to, like, link these to it to supply it with power, you know? Okay, I think what I need is the Crystal Wrench. Desert Nova, Sarah Blossom, some Iron and Vintium. 
I think that's, well, the wrench of the mod, basically. As the name implies. So I think we need that. Ooh. I love that little effect. Whack, 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 whack. <laughs> Source node doesn't provide any type of power that the destination can use. Pairing successful. All right. Probably don't need to pair all of them, but why not? Hmm. All right. Well, they're paired, but this thing obviously still isn't. Oh, whoa! It just worked. Because it needs quite a bit of power. No, oh, there's the second one. Okay. Cool. So weird. Looks like a like pulsating ball of mud. Of course you want more, hungry monster. Boop. More Oh, dear lord. <gasps> oh my god. We have a first spell! Unnamed... what? How is it unnamed? I named it, didn't I? And it costs... nothing? No mana cost. It's free. Well, yeah, it's called bouncy damage, see? Maybe... Maybe this gives you a chance to rename it or something? I don't know. So I think you get to choose an icon and of course name it. Mm. Well, I mean, it's a terrible spell. Who cares? <laughs> it's a green fireball, sure. Oh wow, there's a lot of icons. All right. Uh, how do I say we're good? Well, I can't seem to cast the spell at all. I looked it up online and I couldn't find anything about it that could cause it, other than one thing, which sounds very plausible, which is that it may be that I'm such a low level that I don't have the mana reserves to even cast it once, so it just doesn't allow me to cast it at all. But the strange thing about that is the spell says it costs zero mana, which doesn't make any sense, but if it does cost zero mana, then I should be able to cast it, right? So who knows? Anyway, I think we can move on from Ars Magica for the moment and move into blood magic. So I don't need to make the blood altar just yet, but since I'm doing Ars Magica, I might as well just finish up the last thing I need for this. So I need to make the life essence, which is this, two eggs and two golden apples and some arcane ash. I got the eggs by using my golden lasses to go grab a couple chickens, and I put them in with the cats just for the moment. <laughs> Sorry, cats. I'll make a place for the chickens later. So they gave me a couple eggs. That should be enough, hopefully. Ooh. Maybe not. Maybe it takes a lot. There we go. Life essence. Okay. So, let's get started on blood magic. Another mod I have, like, no experience with. I do know, though, that the very, very, very first thing you need to do is we need to make a bunch of rudimentary snares using night slime nuggets, industrial hemp fiber, and a redstone root. And what we use these for is... I think... I think you snare an enemy and then you kill it with a sword, I think, and it drops like a special item. Let's go try it out real quick and see if that does what I think it does. Okay, let's try this out. I uh, don't know if I need to wait for something. I'm just gonna kill him. Don't think they dropped the thing. I thought 
there was some sign that they've like that it's worked, but I don't remember what the sign was. Well, it doesn't seem to have worked for any of them. I'm gonna go read up on exactly how that works. Okay, yeah, it says after you hit them, there should be white particles on them, and you need to kill them during the white particles to get the uh, demonic will. It says throw it with left click, but right click throws it. There we go. Yes! Not sure if I was just too slow to attack them before or what. Uh, yeah, I think it's just not guaranteed. You see it doesn't have any white particles. There we go. I hope I can get enough demonic will using what I have right now because I don't have the stuff to make any more. I need like night slime and it's kind of annoying to make to make more of these snares. So is that three? Yeah, three demonic will. So, early on, before you've made a bunch of stuff, that is the only way you can get Demonic Will, and that is a key early game crafting ingredient. So, I don't... I'm not exactly sure what it's used for, though, to be honest. I don't remember. Um, but let's see, there, each one has its own will quality. 3.3, 4.5, and 1.2. If I remember right, you just need to make sure they have a will quality above 1 to be used as a crafting ingredient for what you need. This is based on a video I watched quite a while ago. Do you need it for the blood altar? I didn't think you did. No, you don't. Huh. I'm not sure what you need it for. It's possible they've changed the recipe for the blood altar, or maybe it's used for something else. Um, either way, we definitely do need to make the blood altar, so I might as well make it. Let's see. Alright, so one thing that's required for the Blood Altar that we don't have access to at the moment is blocks of biotite, which requires ender biotite, and there's no recipe for it. There's no way to make it, you can only gather it in the world, and it comes from the end, a dimension that we've never been to. So, we need to find the end. So we're going to take a break from all this crafting and go do some adventuring. I don't think I've been to the end, really, except... I think I went to the end once a long, long, long time ago in vanilla Minecraft, but I've never been to the end any time recently. But I know that they're located in strongholds. And strongholds are um, can be found using ender pearls, and we're going to need ender pearls for a few other things as well. So I believe we can find it by... Mm. Do you th throw them? Ah, made a little mistake. Everything was saying Eye of Ender, but I kept reading that as just Ender Pearl. They're not the same. Different item. So, made a bunch of them. Okay, these should not teleport me. Unlike the Ender Pearls, these should actually show me where the stronghold is. So if you throw them, they should start to move in the direction of a stronghold. Now, does that mean it's right here? Or just that it's this direction? I throw them straight up. Yeah, so it's just saying this direction. Alright, so let's try to pinpoint this thing, and then once I find it, I'll dig down. Oh, wow, look at this mountain. Holy crap. How far does this thing go up? Why, 200? Oh crap, it goes up so high that my backpack's Y limit is hit, I, I can't actually really jetpack up anymore. Yeah, my jetpack doesn't work at this altitude. It goes up to about Y200. Mountain Peaks. to admire the scenery a bit. Of 
grassland. Unexplored territory now. Chaparral. It's really far this direction. Come on, world. Whoa. Load. Always scares me when the world doesn't load. Don't think it hurts anything, but it's just, I don't know, it feels weird to go into a void. Uh oh. Lag spike? Good. Didn't crash. Temperate rainforest. Looks pretty cool. That direction. I can see we're getting item rebounding. It's lagging. I want to see what it looks like down here. It's really pretty. Be hard to build down here though, because you got all these super low little trees, and the game just crashed. All right, let's see if we can continue without crashing. Show me the way. Pretty good chance I probably ran out of memory. Generating all this new stuff, plus I have all this stuff at my base chunk loaded. Might need to allocate more RAM to the game. I think I'm allocating 6 gigabytes though. I think that would be enough, but possibly not. Not for modded Minecraft. Ooh! I think I went past it. That means we're close. Uh, what? Oh, it's going in the ground? Oh, you can pick him up again? I didn't know that. Looks like it's right here, huh? Yep. All right. Uh, I do have torches, right? Oh, good. Thank God. Oh, by the way, I, um... I turned off Optifine because I suspected it was causing crashes. And Optifine is a thing that allowed me to have dynamic lighting, where if I put a torch in my offhand, it would actually light up the world. So, I don't have that anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, Stronghold should be somewhere down here. Ooh. Is there... Mossy stone bricks. Aha. So, there should be a stronghold some, I mean, there should be a end portal somewhere in here. I think it is possible for these places to malform though. <laughs> As you can see, a door to nowhere. Ah, silverfish. Look at it grooving. Oh, there's a button. Yeah, it's possible for these places to malform, so it's not guaranteed that there's a portal in here, I think. I think the wicked... Wikipedia entry I saw, or not the Wikipedia, but the wiki entry I saw said that it's over lava, and I see lava on the mini-map. So maybe I should go there. Looks like it's this way. That could be the lava, or it might just be some lava. Could be above me. Could be below. Oh, I see light. Okay. Um, that's gonna be a problem. Ah! Ah! I don't think this is it. 
Nope, that's just lava. Not the lava, just generic lava. Okay, let's get back to exploring the stronghold. Maybe I'll do it methodically. And by that I may just bust through walls and see what I find. Bronze sword. It's not very good, but never seen it before. Summoning pendulum holding zero en entities, random things. What the heck does that do? Can I craft that? No, it only comes in chests. Interesting. That has no point in taking the redstone. Oh, I think this might be it. Uh, hold on, I don't want to break everything. I just want to break the silver fish spawner. There we go. Yeah! Here's the end portal. Alright, so let me mark this on my map. There we go. Right, so we need to put the rest of these... Eyes of Ender and these things to complete the portal. And there we go. Let's go into the end. Now, I think there's a dragon in the end. I don't know if it's kind of just, like, guaranteed to find you or what. Because I don't have any intention of trying to kill it. Oh, it's flying around. Okay. Also, I may have to kill it to get out. I think I have to kill it to get out. Because <laughs> I don't see a portal here. Does it see me? Not yet. How am I doing on power and stuff? I mean, my armor is terrible, but I've got tons of Bad pack energy. Decent amount of food. Probably should have brought more. Oh well. Ranged weapon would have been very smart. Hmm. Alright, well before we kill the dragon, we need to take out those crystals up there. Guess there really is no other way out. Uh oh, I pissed off that ender. Alright, let's break these. Keep my health up. Come on, regen. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not very well equipped for this fight. I'm gonna run out of food pretty fast. That one hurt the worst of all. Why is the dragon not moving? I gotta wait till I'm like full on health to hit it. We got four more to go. Okay, if I get it like when I'm just on the edge of it, doesn't doesn't hurt too bad. Just gotta keep a pretty good distance. I've got one food left. Oh, 
Okay. No more food. There we go. There's a dragon. Pausing over there. I really have nothing I can eat, right? No food stashed away. Can I eat hematite? Oh. All right. Thing is though, it's almost impossible for me to do damage to it without it doing damage to me because I have no ranged weapon. Oh God, why is that so fucking loud? Oh. What is it doing? I don't even want to get near it just because it's so loud. Okay, well... This weapon, despite how good it is, didn't do much damage. I would like it to do that again, but I don't know why it did that in the first place. Also, ow, my ears. You going back? Okay, okay. Alright, we should be able to do this. Just gotta keep dodging it until it goes back. I guess it maybe starts to go there when you take out all the crystals. Oof, that push. Alright, we should get it next time. can grab the heart? Oh yeah, we just don't have room. Bit of Miss Cole can go away. Did I grab it? Yes. Alright, Dragon Heart. That's part of Draconic Evolution. That's not going to be relevant for quite a while. And when it dies, it leaves you an end portal with which you can go back to where you came from. And a dragon egg. I don't know, if, I don't know what to do with that. It's vanilla Minecraft. I don't think I want to touch it. Maybe if you break it, it spawns another one or something. Anyway, we came here for biotite, which I believe is this. Yes, ender biotite. Even end coal ore. End nickel. Is that stuff special in some way? Like, do you get more out of it? Where is it? Oh, I don't have room for any of it, do I? And gold ore. And lead ore. So let's see what the yields are. Oh, okay, so you just, yeah, you just, it's just like the nether stuff, where it just smelts into two of the normal version. Okay. Not too important, the real good stuff that I'm here for. Hey, buddies, don't worry, I won't look at you. Ew. 
was the biotite, which I didn't get any of because I couldn't hold it? Question mark. It didn't go into mining, did it? Oh, it does. It's the only thing that goes into mining. Alright, well, we got plenty. And I need food soon, so let's take the portal back. I don't know if you just drop into it. Yeah, alright. Oh no, that starts the end. The credits. What does that do? Oh, you go back to your bed. Oh, cool. I finished the game. Hey, we're done. <laughs> I don't know. The, the end has always been a joke in Minecraft. Anyway, that should be pretty much everything we need to make the blood altar. Oh, um... I need to... Let me do some inventory management. Okay, let's see how we're looking on that blood altar. Now that I've got some food in me. Yeah, there we go. Now we got the blocks of biotite. We have a blood altar. What do we do with this thing? I don't know. I think one of the first things we need to do is basically... Well... Poke ourselves with a dagger. And use our life essence to fill this blood altar with our blood. Very pleasant and lovely. I mean, the name of the mod is Blood Magic, so unfortunately it involves a lot of blood. Unfortunately for me, because I don't like blood. But anyway, so I think I'm going to save Blood Magic for the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to get into Blood Magic and see if we can get far enough to then get into the Runic Altar for Batania.